Hey guys, what's going on? This is the Calagrian Knight here, and I am back for episode 5 of season 4 of Ancient Craft. Yeah! Uh, there's really not much that's been going on, except, you know, for the fact that, uh, well, you know, I got a horse. Yep, that's a white horse that I got from way over west. Which is going to be fitting, because, as I said, I'm building a western town. And what western town is complete without a horse? No western town. That's which western town. Anyways, I have a couple episodes planned. The first episode, of which you may find exciting. The second episode, of which maybe not so much. But anyways, my next episode, episode 5, right here... You're gonna get to see me go into the nether and try and get to so try and get to community by digging a tunnel. Yep, gonna be going in the nether. Probably gonna be dying a lot, which is why I have some spare armor set up in my house. If you can call that a house, it's just a crappy little hut, which is what I've been calling it this whole time, by the way. This is my crappy little hut, guys. You've already said why can't I not get in here? Uh. You've already seen what goes on here. It's just a bunch of chests, a bed, a furnace, a crescent table, an anvil, and this little oak door. And, yeah! Next episode, of actually, I'll let you guys see what I do in the next episode. I'll leave that as a little surprise. If you actually enjoy watching these videos, I doubt you do. These videos are crap. So, anyways, I'm going to go into, this, into the nether here and actually go over to spawn. Now, I'm going to have to ask a question to actually, you know, get over there, because I don't know the coordinates for the spawn's nether. So I'm going to have to ask that question. Anyways, as I look off into the sunset behind me, I'm going to just pause recording real quick and ask the question so I can give you guys the episode you deserve. See you when I get back. And we are back. I have finally got those nether coordinates. So we are going to be 3,759, 119, negative 1137. How great. You guys prepared to see me die over and over in the nether to lava and probably zombie pigment ghasts and anything else they can find in there? I hope so, because that's about to happen. And enter the nether. You're finally going to see what my nether area looks like, guys. Last time I entered here, there were at least three ghasts around. This time, I'm not hearing any ghasts. But, so far as what I'm seeing, it looks like a, you know, pretty decent little area, and I hear a ghast. How great. Okay, so, let me screen cap my, uh, nether quartz. Just so, uh, just so people can know. They can dig towards it. Okay, uh, is there that gas around anywhere? I don't see it, but I hear it. Okay, which direction do I have to go to? Uh, where's that other coordinate? Um, okay, I gotta post that here. Okay, gotta get to those exact coordinates. That is this way. Okay. I hope you guys are uh, okay with me just talking over me digging a lot like this. I might just make a compilation of me dying over and over. Would you guys want to see that? I bet you would. Because people love to see the people they love die. In Minecraft, at least. In real life... No one wants to see people they love die. In fact, no one just wants to die. Uh, simple fact of life. No one wants to die. Especially me. I am very fearful of death. Well, of dying. Other people dying? That's, that's, uh, that's acceptable in my case. But if uh, someone else is dead, that's... Uh, that's a big no, in my opinion. Okay, so. I need to go this direction, I believe. Is that coordinate? Uh, 
Yeah, yeah, it's this way. Just need to head straight this way. I don't think of it. I don't even need to keep this uh this thing open. Okay, so ooh, nether quartz. I'm gonna grab that because who doesn't want nether quartz? Level twenty-five, perfect. I hope you're, I'm I'm uh, standing up here, guys, because come on, if I dig right like straight down and I'm down this pit, or if I dig in this pit. I'm more than likely just going to hit lava and, you know, immediately die. Sure, I have spare supplies, but I, does anyone really want to die in this game? No. I've already clarified that no one does. Anyone who says they do, they are deluding themselves. Okay, so what's my Y coordinate? Oh, I am nowhere close. I'm going to have to dig upwards. That's going to be fun. Prepare to die, me. Because I'm going to hit lava. More than likely, I will hit the lava. Soon enough, there will be burning hot liquid in my face, and I will not be able to control that. Uh, this is... Not what I have in mind, but you know what? I'm just going to cut here. I know I wanted to uh, record this whole thing, a compilation of me dying, but you know what? I feel like just digging like this is all tedious, and no one really wants to watch that. Not you, not me, not anyone, really. So, I mean, let me know in the comments if you want me to just talk while mining or doing anything tedious like this, because if you want this, I'll, I'll do it. If you uh, don't want this, I won't do it. Again, it's your choice. I am doing this for you guys. I'm recording so you guys have something to be entertained by. I'm rambling again. I once again apologize. That's becoming like my thing. I always apologize. That and melons. Melons are always my thing. But uh, anyways, guys, I'm going to cut here, and I will see you guys if something interesting is happening. Okay, I know I told you guys I was going to cut until something interesting happened, and nothing really interesting has happened. But, you know, I have gotten to, uh, as you can see here, the right, uh, the right Z coordinate and the right Y coordinate from... Uh, let's see, from here, these coordinates, sorry about the T. Now I just need to travel a few hundred blocks in this very direction, west, in hell, until I can get to the portal. So, for this moment, I'm just gonna, like, keep the mic going, keep the episode rolling, talk to you guys about whatever's on my mind. So, how do you guys feel about Netherrack as a building block? In my opinion, it's it, it can work, but only in certain niche builds, you know? It's uh, not really useful for anything other than a hellscape like build. But for hellscape builds, it's basically the best block you can use. It's probably going to comprise most of, uh, most of what you build. Yeah. But uh, for normal everyday building purposes, this netherrack is just not a very good block. I mean, in this texture pack, it's at least somewhat pleasing to the eye, but in a vanilla texture pack, it just looks not good. It, look, it looks disgusting. I'll just say it blunt. It looks disgusting. I would not use that in my builds normally if my life depended on it. Like, say, some crazy madman is holding my family at gunpoint. Nope. Nope. Not gonna... Not gonna do it. I I mean, I guess I would use Netherrack if, uh... If the family was held at gunpoint. That's a bit of an extreme situation, like... But if I was doing, like, a contest or something, Netherrack is the last block I would ever use in that contest. It, it's just, it's not a good block. And if any of you think it is a good block, then 
good for you. you. You've seen something in it that I can't. It's just in my opinion, personal opinion, everyone's entitled to their opinion. It's not a good block. Uh, I have a friend that, uh, that uh, thinks the same way, actually. Nether they actually taught me that netherrack is not very good for builds. Oh, what is this? What is this? I have to check this out, guys. Huh. Just a little... Little mini cavelet, huh? I wonder... Does this actually connect to anything? No? No, it's just a little empty cavelet. Huh. I, I wish that was interesting for you guys. You guys deserve to see something interesting. But, unfortunately, that was not interesting. That was just sad. It was a sad excuse for a cave in the nether. Let's keep going like this. Keep trying to get to this nether coordinates. So, hey, you guys enjoying the nether so far? Uh, do you want me to explore more? Possibly, um find a uh, fortress who knows maybe i can uh help people build a blaze spawner i did that last season you know helped to build a blaze spawner i myself was not the one building the blaze spawner that uh that duty belonged to the friend that i just told you about that taught me about netherrack you see it's all coming together it all stems into the same thing ah that is ah crap that's not, um, that's not what I meant to do at all. So, uh, yeah, uh, I really don't know what else to say here, you guys. Uh, I would cut here, but as I just said, I would just talk until I got there. You know, unless some lava actually pours on me and I die. And that's another iron pick down. Um, I probably made too many iron picks for this job. It's probably not going to be long for now, or long until I get to the portal. But yeah, once this portal is actually built, then uh, I can actually have a quick travel to community. Which should be good. Because once I get to community, I can like harvest some crops, use the slime farm they have built, or are building. It's, I, I've seen it. It's, uh, it's decent. It's a lot like last season, but with a lot more, um minecarts and iron golems. I don't know why the hell they're using iron golems in their slime farm, but hey, good on them for using a block that I don't entirely, you know, just using a aspect that I never thought of. So, yeah, congrats on ingenuity. You get extra points for that. Even though this, these points are more like whose lines anyway, points where, you know, it just doesn't matter. And hey, ooh, that's, uh, that's where lava's supposed to be. I'm not going to dig that up because I'm not stupid. You guys want me to dig it up? I feel like you guys want me to dig it up. I, I won't dig it up. That would just lead to nothing but tragedy. Or in your case, comedy. But I am not about that kind of comedy. I am about wholesome comedy. You know, comedy with structure. Comedy with uh, actual points. Things that keeps you guessing. That's my kind of comedy. Oh, hello, other piggly. Uh, I have your friend at my home. He's happy. He's safe. Yeah, so you uh, you just you just go down there. You uh, be a happy little pig. Happy little safe, not at all angry at me pig. If you can't tell, guys, I'm a little bit afraid of these things. Don't want to accidentally hit them, or I will guaranteed die. And as I've already clarified, I am afraid of dying. In Minecraft, in real life, especially real life. But because this this game is not real life, I'll be afraid of dying in game. I apologize for that, you guys. Uh, my father needed me. Anyways, 
as you can see, I am enclosing this pathway because A, I don't really feel like exploring this little area. Most people like exploring nether caves, but I myself find that they're full of nothing but death. Anyways, what's my current, uh, okay, I only got like a hundred, like, or oh, actually, I think I only have like 50 more blocks to go or so. So I'm almost there, you guys. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed me talking over just walking around here. Actually, you know what? I am going to explode this little cave. Or cavelet. I'm going to mark out this area with a torch. And of course there's a lighting glitch, why wouldn't it be? Server vs. Cal, episode 5 of Server vs. Cal. Uh, any quartz? Any other things? No? Oh, it's just boring. It's all just boring. And of course it's still lighting glitched. Why wouldn't it be lighting glitched? Uh, okay, so, uh, build that up, build that up. Okay, get that, uh, find this, collect that block, put some blocks here, 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 and here. Okay, and close this. Don't want to look, uh, don't want this tunnel to look too, uh, unprofessional or uncleanly. That's another thing you should know, guys. Like, I'm enclosing it so it doesn't look too, uh, unclean. So it doesn't look, uh, ratty or... Unkempt. I think, yeah, unkempt. That's the right word I'm going to use. Okay, so just got like a few more blocks over here. A couple dozen, I guess, or so. Or more. Probably more, just a little tad more. Not a lot. Okay, uh... Anything? Am I getting close? Uh, did I just mine st straight into the nether portal? I mined straight into the nether portal. I did not mean to do this. This was not my intention. In the slightest. Okay, so you know what? You know what? I'm gonna just uh, close that part up and just have this, this little outcropping be my little entrance or exit or whichever which you want Whatever you want, whatever direction you feel is necessary. And this, this is why I brought the melon. So people know it's my channel, my tunnel. Just to be sure, I'm going to go through this portal to see if it's the right portal. And am I at community? I, I am at community. Thank goodness I'm here. Okay, so I get, guys, I have a quick uh, access to the community area. That's good, right? I got, uh, well, ready to get some more crops, some more, uh, delivery space. As you can see, there's some minecarts going over there in that furnace hut. Um, and, yeah, community village. It's just a refurbished regular village. I uh, personally wouldn't have done this, but it's, uh, it's a good choice. Horse head, fish head, puffer fish head. Someone beheaded Alex and Steve. That's very uh, barbaric of you guys. Why would you put those on posts? As you can see, there are a bunch of other horses here. Most of which, or all of which, don't have names, except Bim. There is a horse named Bim. Who, no who names a horse Bim? Hold on. Hold on, guys. I, I gotta get a... I gotta get a... little uh, screenshot with Bim here. I I'm a big fan of you, Bim. Okay, Bim, just hold for a second, and, oh, that's not the button I wanted, uh, okay, and, because I can't see your name anyway, I'm just gonna get rid of that, and, turn around, Bim, there we go, and, there we go, got my screenshot for Bim, okay, so, uh, I really have just completed all I needed to do, guys, I've made it to community, I was here earlier today, but, uh, I didn't, you know, capture any of that footage. Because it wasn't really interesting. I only came here so I could, A, enchant a diamond pickaxe I don't have on me right now. 
and B, so I could, uh, you know, uh, I, I needed slime balls to get my horse home, because he had leads. And, well, as you can see, that venture was actually fruitful. I got my horse home. There are pumpkins growing here in a very haphazard manner. Not exactly the best of circumstances. So, you know what? You know what? I'm just going to... You know what? I'm just going to put that back. Because it's, it's none of my business whether the three stems are connecting to it at the same time. That's the pumpkin's business. Pumpkin's business. It's not going to be the name of the episode, but hey, it's uh, it's business. Pumpkin business. I'm just going to take a little screenshot of this, because, you know, I like this. Just going to take this screenshot, and boom. You guys can probably see that as a thumbnail. Uh... Anyways, guys, uh, that's about all I can really do for this episode. Uh, I made it to the community via Nether. I got my portal set up, and I've uh, done a little bit of exploring. I got some Nether quartz, not very much, but it's uh, it's enough. So thank you guys for watching. I am the Calgary Knight. I will see you in the next episode, hopefully. If uh, if nothing else happens to stop me from making this episode. But yeah, guys, I will see you all whenever I have the chance. A like, comment, subscribe. If you don't, that's your choice. I won't judge. And I will see you guys all next time. Thank you.